Well, hello fellow RVers. This is Gary once again with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom and freedom has brought us to La Page Campground located in Oregon, about 25 miles from the Dallas off of Highway 84. to know about LePage Park. First let's talk about how we got there. We were in the coast of Oregon and our next stop was LePage Park which is past the Dalles headed east on I-84. And I-84 is a very scenic drive. It's the Columbia River Gorge Drive and you got the mountains and you got the Columbia River. So, so it's a very very nice easy drive, wide road, but you need to be conscious that sometimes the wind gusts, they do have wind gusts, high wind gust warning signs along the way. And the uh, the day that we went there, headed east from the Oregon coast, was an extremely windy day and we were getting blown a little bit like this, you know. So just be conscious that you may have encountered some wind gust area. Now when you're going along I-84 to get to LePage Park, you'll come to exit 114. Now exit 114 is not only the exit off of I-84 but it is also the entrance to the park so when you get off that exit you're going to go right into the park. The only purpose of that exit is to get into the park and that's the only way to get out of the park is back up on the uh, on off ramp there at the exit 114 to get back on to I-84 to continue to go wherever you're going to go. That's the driving for us going east on I-84 from the coast of Oregon over to LePage Park. And that is a very, as Gary was saying, it's a scenic drive. You've got the mountains, you've got the river. Washington State is on one side of the river, Oregon is on the other side of the river, and there's so many places along the way that I wanted to explore. So that's a stop and smell the roses drive that we're going to do next time we're out that way because it's really, it looks like a neat place to visit. It, it is. Interstate 84. Still loving it. And once you get there, it's a small park. The sites, all the sites have electric and water, and there are some primitive sites. Like I said, it's a small park, but they do have a boat ramp, they do have a day use area, they have a tenting area. So you should book ahead if you want to stay at this park. One site, I believe it's site eight, is the first come, first come only site that you can take a chance on getting that one site. But being a small park, it, it would probably be better to book ahead. Even booking ahead, we were going to stay there seven days, and we wound up with three different sites to make the seven days. We were going to have to move and move and move. But my wife then got on the phone with Recreation, 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 Recreation. Dot gov, yes. gov. It's kind of streamlined where we would only have to move once from one site to another site and back. And as it turns out that we didn't even have to move that time because the people that had reserved that for that night never never came. They called in late that night. With our experience, it does help to call ahead. We're not quite those winged people yet. Right. And this was July, so it's peak right. season as well. And as you know, if you are trying to get in somewhere, check back. Check back often because that helped us to book another night there, one mm -hmm. of the nights we were out. So just keep there every few days or every day, just go in and check if you're trying to get in a certain location. Right. Now, if you're into the boondocking up there at the dam, John Day Dam, there are lots of areas set aside up there for, for boondockers. There are loops all up and down there. The, it's, it's, on the, it's on the water. It's mm -hmm. on the Columbia River. And you can go there and, and boondock if, you, if, you, if that's what you choose to do. So at the John Day Dam, you can primitive camp here. There are tents, motorhomes, campers, bathrooms. Good to know. 
there was some type of sailing club there that one day we went by there, and they had the surfboard for sails on them. What do they call that? Windsurfers, Wind parasailing. Parasailing. They had all kinds of stuff going on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So there's a the new sport in Oregon. Apparently, it's a thing. Yeah, so there are quite a bit of boondocking opportunities close to LePage Park and the John Jay Dam. There is another Army Corps of Engineer Park, right. Plymouth Park, which is on the Washington side of the Columbia River. Right. So there's lots of opportunities there, whether you want to stay at a park or, or boondock in, in that general area of Dalles would be D A L L E S would be the the biggest city, I believe, close to LePage Park. It's about 20, say 25 miles from it. Now, phone service. Let's talk about the phone service here. We have Verizon, and for the most part, Verizon has worked well for us in our journeys, but in this particular case, there was no phone service. Mm -hmm. We had to ride the little town of Rufus close by, and you go through Rufus, it's about a 10 mile drive, and you get to a pilot truck stop that has a McDonald's in it. And you can go there, and either use the pilot Wi-Fi or the McDonald's Wi-Fi and log on and then do all your computer work or whatever you need mm -hmm. to do there. And we chose McDonald's so we could have snacks. Right. Snacks are very important. Good excuse to eat yes. french fries. Anytime you're in an RV <laughs> or stay in the parks for any length of time, when you get a chance to get a McDonald's snacks, that's where we're going to go. So that's where we went to get snacks and to use the phone service. She wanted to use the phone service. I wanted the snacks. So, he so, said, I'll come with you. Yeah, I'll come with you in this case. So that's the phone service there was, was just, uh, it just, it just really didn't exist. I mean, you might could hold your phone up and walk out in the day use area, maybe get yeah. connected for a minute, but then it would drop. Okay, dog walking report. If you have dogs that need to be walked a lot, like ours, we have two larger dog. well, they're medium size. They're 55 but they're pound dogs, right? and they like to be walked, we walk right. three times a day. Right, there's, there's plenty of room to walk your dog, it, between the road coming in, and you can go up the hill a little bit, and you can go down to the boat ramp, we were able to walk them all well, that they needed to be walked. Yeah, we try to give them at least a mile per walk, mm -hmm. sometimes maybe more, but they do like to walk a lot and smell. Now, bike riding, my wife's a little disappointed in the bike riding. Yeah, you won't. There's not a lot of places to ride your no. bike there. It's the same place that you walk the dogs, but you'd be lucky to get two miles in. You just have to keep going around. You can't go on any country roads because the interstate is there, right. so you're just kind of locked in. So not a good bike riding area no, but no. still it's an awesome park it's a nice park and we're going to give you a up close and personal look at lepage park yes we are and that's the uh, ranger station check-in this is an army corps of engineer park now when you enter this park the road straight ahead from the ranger station is going to take you to the campground not that high hill just this one straight ahead and then this other road off to the to the left here, we'll take you down to the boat ramp in the day use area. So we're going to walk down there first. Uh, we're walking our dogs too, so we're going to walk down there and then go to the park. So this would be the uh, tent camping area. It's green grass, uh, it's dry, it's no water or electric, it's water available. We've got a gazebo down there, and there's that little part of the, the river right there that's buoyed off, that's the swimming area, bathhouse. And over there where you see all the RVs, that's actual campground. It's a small campground coming down the road to the boat ramp. And that over there is the boat trailer parking. You see some of the boaters out today. So I'm going to walk over there now and show you the boat ramps in that area. But first, let's stop right here. This is the day use area. The campground's over there where you see the tent. And this day use area has got the playground picnic tables, fireplaces, and that is the John Day River. All right, fishing guys, this is a uh, floating dock. It's quite a nice dock. Like I said, this is an Army Corps of Engineer Park. The river is huge. It goes on for a long way. This is the first floating dock, and here we have yet another floating dock with access to the park. And you can see over there, a couple more docks where you can watch your boat from. Let's walk down there. 
There's the boat ramp. It's a nice gravel boat ramp. And you got three places, three docks to tie up to here. Historical significance of the John Day River would be this. Lewis and Clark charted the John Day River. It would have been rest in history. The John Day River flows into the Columbia River, the shot of the river. John Day River, past the bridges, past the Columbia River there, and then if you go left, you get to the John Day Dam. And it's a big dam. Along our travels here along the Columbia River Gorge, it's a John Day Dam. That area over there where you see that camper, the red truck, it's kind of a fenced off gated area. That is a treaty fishing area. Members of tribes can park there or live there and they fish these waters. And you can see their boats and they have a lot of nets out in the parking lot drying. That would be a treaty fishing area up in there for the local tribes to have access and use of this water. Well, we have a little critter down there on the beach area. While I'm filming it, this is the beach area. No pets on the beach area. The water's actually not cold. When I think of Oregon, usually I think of cold water. And across the, the water there, that would be the campground. You have uh, pull-through sites on the outside, and then on the inside there you have the uh, back-in sites. That gray one down there is us back then. Like I said, it's not a very big campground. Right there where that camper, brave camper motorhome is parked, that's site eight. That's a first-come, first-served site. The others are reservable backed up to those giant hills overlooking the water. Nice sunsets. And here we are back at our campsite. So is this a pull through? So you're right on the right on the river. There's the wife up there talking. And up there on that top of that mountain there's a big horn sheep, sometimes eagles. We saw meat this morning. It's a very nice park. And we are heading out now. We are headed about 100 miles north to Hood in Washington, and we'll be doing a review of that park. So subscribe and hit the bell, and you'll be notified when we do that one or post our other videos that we have. The officers had a good time, so we would recommend this park. If you want to stop here for a day or two or three, it's just, it's just a really nice campground. Stay tuned. This is Gary with Rough Road RV Life, and... Love looking at freedom. That's right. See we'll see you road. on the road. Cool and refreshing. Glad we did it. And now, gotta pack up and go. But check this out. This is a great idea that Army Corps of Engineer Parks do. It's a life jacket loaner station.